Um, as in a previous video, we talked about my wife needing light in her chicken coop. Well, today we've actually got a light for the chicken coop. So what we're going to do, it's a, it's a regular poultry light. It's set up with a special bulb. Uh, this has a, uh, a little holder. I'm going to sit here because I don't walk too good. And i got to take these little plastic pieces off the ends of the wire cage that goes around the light bulb. We'll go set this in the chicken coop. The other thing we need is an extension cord. And it's just an old one I had. And a timer. Now the timer I looked for, even though my light does not have a ground, it's all set up. But I bought a timer that actually is set up for, uh, I believe this one is set for 15 I think I could put 15 amps, yeah, it's set for 15 amps, so this could be used for any kind of lamp or anything, but when you figure this is 250 volt, uh, watts, so it's pretty bright, uh, I just wanted to make sure I had a good heavy duty um, timer. Figure out to where I can have my cord out of the way so I can still get other things and reach it. don't want sharp objects around it. I don't want to take a chance of cutting my cord. Okay, now we have to figure out where we're going to put this light to best benefit the chickens. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. i got to tighten up this little thumb screw here a little bit. I don't want to get it too hot. I don't want cooked chickens. But I think what we want to do is I'm going to clamp this lamp right there. I'm going to run the cord kind of up through the fence. This was the old dog kennel. When my wife, we decided to keep the dogs in the house. And so my wife wanted to do, wanted to raise chickens, so we decided to turn it into a chicken coop. So we enclosed it a lot more than it was, kind of keep the weather and the elements off of the, off of the chickens. we're nice that way her, she talks to the chickens they're her friends and so we're gonna bring the we're gonna bring the extension cord inside where you plug it in actually inside the actual chicken coop this door stays open all the time. We don't want to lock our chickens in place. So we'll just run this through here. And we're going to run it through here and kind of loop it down and around here. And now we are plugged in. Now, the thing is, we have to go plug the timer in. So we'll take this nifty little timer, open the package, and look, this timer has a spot for two different things. So you can have outlet on or timer on. Oh, I see. 
you can uh, actually use the outlet while still having the timer on. So you don't always have to just use this for a timer, so you can still utilize your receptacle. That's pretty, pretty ingenious. Okay, let's step out into the shed. So, because I don't want a big mess out here, what I would like to do is, even though the cord is still kind of rolled up, just kind of look at your cord and see it's tangled and kind of messed up. So, we're gonna set the cord kind of out of the way, make it so you can walk in here. We're gonna take a look at our timer. Okay, we want it to come on. Now, daylight for chickens, you want 16 hours. We're here where we are. It starts getting light around 7 a.m. right now this time of year. And it starts getting dark oh, 4, 4.30. So we'll go 4 o'clock. So 7 to 4 o'clock, that's 9 hours. So we need to have another 8 hours. So from 4 o'clock p.m., we'll pull out the little... the little indicator and we want it to go off at let's see 4 to 12 that's 8 hours and we want it to go off at uh, we'll go about 1.30 that should give it enough time now as we get later in the season we'll have to change that we want timer on but the other thing we can test too real quick, because we have an outlet, let's see if that light works. If we plug that in, and looky there. I don't know if you can see that friends, but we have a light on, okay? So now what we wanna do is go back, hook our time up, set our little uh, timer to timer on and it's set Now I want to see if It says outlet on I want to see if my outlets on on that thing if it's like a way to switch to have it on all the time and bypass the timer part or if you have to have it the timer Well, look, that's how it works. So now I'll just, if we stay, if, if uh, Tommy will stay right here and film that, I'll go switch it to timer on and see what we get. Now for the moment of truth. And I must have done something wrong. I better go check it. Now, my friends, it's best always to read the instructions because I was doing it back. So we set the time of day. On this particular one timer, all of the pins have to be pulled out. And then where you want the time, the, the clock to turn on, you push that pin in and when you want it to turn off you push that pin in and that gives you your time okay so that's what I'm gonna do right now and if Tommy will pan over to the light the light should be turned off at this point and yes it is so with that we have completed setting up our timer it always pays to read the instructions and until next time, have a very good day, and remember, you too can live through your limits.